Learn Tally online easily at Tally School. Hi, Richard Cha from Tally School once again. And in this video, I'm going to explain you sales and purchase vouchers in Tally. It is very easy and very simple to create sales and purchase vouchers in Tally. No business can operate or function without sales and purchases. So these are some of the essential vouchers in Tally. I've already explained basic accounting vouchers uh, in another post and created a separate video for that. And that is linked below. You can see that if you're on YouTube and if you're on Tally School watching this video, you can just search that on Tally School. So coming to this video, in this video, I'm going to create two ledgers for sales and purchase accounts and two ledgers for sundry creditor and sundry data so in total four ledgers and then i'll create a final entry for purchase and sales so i'm going to show you the exact process of creating sales and purchase vouchers i'm going to create sales and purchase vouchers as accounting invoice and not an item invoice which is a bit complicated but for the basic understanding we should start with accounting invoice so first of all what we have to do is we have to create a sundry data and a sundry creditor ledger so from gateway of tally go to accounts info then go to ledgers then under single ledger select create and press enter now we are at the ledger creation screen and i will create a sundry data account or a sundry data ledger named amit so amit which will be under sundry data so as i have typed sun it has already refined the list of groups to sundry data and creditors so sundry data select sundry data here maintain bills balances bill by bill put it to no no inventory values are affected so put it this to no and just press enter and save the ledger <coughs> okay so likewise we'll also create a sundry creditor ledger so let it is rohan the name of the sundry creditor ledger and from the list select sundry creditor same way no no and just press enter and if you have any detail of your creditor or data you can enter like pin code address bank details I'll keep it to no for simplicity. No opening balance for 1st April 2015. And just save it. So now we have created a sundry data and a sundry creditor ledger. Now what we will do is we'll create a sales and purchase ledger so that we can create a whole purchase and sales entry. So let's create sales ledger named domestic sales and it will be under sales account so i'll type s a l e s and sales accounts will automatically be defined for me so sales account inventory values are affected set it to no by pressing n and then pressing enter no service tax if you have not enabled service tax in your tally this option will not be available to you and don't worry if this is not available to you because this is of no use in this video i've enabled it for some other video so it is showing up here but don't worry if it is not showing up in your tally go ahead and press enter and press enter once again to save this ledger likewise we will create a domestic purchases ledger for purchase account so domestic purchases and it will be under purchases sorry purchase accounts under the list of groups so i just type pur and it will refine tally will refine it for me select that now inventory values are affected set it to no and press enter press enter and save the domestic purchases ledger so we have created four ledgers sundry creditor sundry data domestic sales and domestic purchases and now it is the time to create final entries 
will create a purchase entry as well as a sales entry so let's go back by pressing escape a few times one two three and four okay so i press escape four times or maybe three times just come back to the gateway of tally now we will go to accounting vouchers to create a sales voucher so select accounting vouchers and by default i'm already in sales voucher but if you are not in sales voucher here then press f8 that is the shortcut for sales voucher in tally so press f8 if you are not in sales voucher and one more thing if you are seeing something like this there is sales ledger current balance ref then select here accounting invoice as i already said at the beginning of the video i'll be creating accounting invoice and not item invoice because item invoice is a bit complicated if you are having item invoice you'll see quantity rate and amount so select accounting invoice and you'll see only rate and amount because this is very easy to create and i'll be explaining advanced videos in future but for now basic level of sales and purchase entries accounting invoice is the best option press enter or select the date which you want then press enter once again leave the reference column or reference option blank now party account name now this is the ledger whom we are selling so we have created sundry data for amit so we'll select sundry data because we are selling him so he is our data so select Amit and you can enter all these details but for now I'm skipping this these are related to sales that is dispatch order and buyer details address sales text number all these details press ctrl plus a to skip all these now what I'll be doing is I'll be selling something so for that we have created a domestic sales account so type in domestic sales okay so domestic sales it is already available in the list of ledger accounts so domestic sales and let's say we are selling him of 15,000 so our total sales is of 15,000 to Amit and press enter press enter and if you want to add narration you can add like sales to Amit of 15,000 and just press enter and save this ledger so this was the sales voucher in tally that was easy really easy and in the same way we'll create a purchase voucher in tally so for that we will have to go to the purchase voucher by pressing f9 here it is and we are in the purchase voucher in tally and in here we'll create a purchase voucher for our purchase account which is domestic purchases and the sundry creditor which is rohan so we'll press enter after selecting a particular date so press enter then select your invoice number if you want to have invoice number if you don't want to have just keep it blank once again enter the date of the invoice this is the date of the invoice and this is the date of the sales or purchase voucher so invoice date is same now in party account name we are purchasing from rohan so we will select rohan and if you want to enter these details like references address taxation details you can enter or just press ctrl plus a to save that or skip that and we will be here now here we'll select a domestic purchases account because we are purchasing from rohan so domestic as soon as i type do it will automatically select the domestic purchases ledger from the list of ledger accounts so press enter and select that now let's say we are purchasing goods or something of 10,000 rupees from 
Rohan. So I'll type in the amount 10,000 rupees and press enter. Press enter once again and verify the amount 10,000. Press enter. You can enter the narration. I don't want to enter the narration this time. I've already entered the narration while creating sales voucher. So I'll be not entering narration this time. If you want to enter, you can enter. It's for the future use and press enter and it will ask to accept and press enter to accept the voucher. So people, we have created purchases as well as sales voucher and it is very easy and fast to create. I'm explaining you in this video so it has taken some time but once you know how to create, you will create at lightning speed. So now let's have a look at the effects in the profit and loss account of our purchases and sales vouchers. So press escape and come back to the gateway of tally go down and under reports you will see profit and loss account press enter on that press alter plus f1 now under purchase account we can see domestic purchases the entry for which we have passed a minute before so if we go to domestic purchases and press enter now press enter in the month in which we have passed entry we have created the entry on 1st april 2014 sorry 2015 so it will it is showing in the month of april and if i press enter i can already see that we have purchased from rohan of 10000 rupees similarly if i go back by pressing escape and if we see the sales account we can see the domestic sales as well of 15000 which we have sold to amit so if i go and press enter and this was also on 1st april 2015 so it is showing in the month of april so press enter and we can easily see Amit to whom we have sold. So if I press enter once again, I'll directly come into that entry. So if I want to alter or edit this entry for any reason, I can edit it or else I'll press escape and go back. So I'm going back by pressing escape. I came back to the gateway of tally and this is how simple and easy to create purchases as well as sales vouchers in ent uh, sorry in tally by now i'm sure that you know and you have learned how you can create purchases and sales vouchers in tally and if you have any kind of doubt a bit of confusion a slight bit of confusion or you have anything to say to me you can comment down below if you are watching this on Tally School, comment on Tally School. And if you are watching this on YouTube, comment on YouTube. And if you liked this video, please don't forget to share it. I will be very happy if you share this video with your friends and relatives and whoever you know. It will help them as well as me. So share it if you find it useful. And don't forget to give a like on youtube it really helps people to find videos if you have liked more and more so share this video like this video and if you want to see videos like this subscribe tally school on youtube so i'm sure you've understood the concept of sales and purchase vouchers in tally and if you have any doubt you can always comment and i'll be very happy to help you so thank you for watching this video. I'm Richard Shah signing off from Tally School. Thank you for watching.